Okay. No, well, this shows a pretty dark, but this is a, well, let's get an outside view first. Oh, we got a mess going on because he's working on this, but that's okay. Okay. So we have a, Jim, what size is this one? 7 by 16. 7 by 16 tandem. Okay. All black. Uh, diamond plate edges. Wheel. Wheel wells. Um, it's got the fold down ramp because we, this one's going to be a camper slash toy hauler. It is for sale. We want to show the whole build so you know what's going into it. Um, so it is insulated. We wanted to get that to show you it's got a uh, three quarter inch insulation. Is this three quarters? That is one inch. Ceiling is inch and a half. Oh, okay. So ceiling is inch and a half. We'll make sure that it's all in there nicely. Um, we are going to do, this one will be white with gray accent. Beautiful. We're going to do the um, bead. What is it, Jim? B-board. B-board. The white B-board wainscot. This way. Instead of going traditional up and down we're going to do this way we're going to do it on the ceiling it runs this way gorgeous look um okay so that paneling is going in the studio we have but uh we are going to do gray floors similar to this but it's going to have black in it i've seen it and it has black in it it's gorgeous okay so the point so although this is a 16 by 7, we actually get almost 18 feet because of the point. Correct, Jim? Yeah. Okay. And it has the entrance door here. He is going to place um, windows, small windows here, and a small window here. We will put in the Max fan. Or the fantastic fan, either or, and it will have air conditioning. 10,000 BTUs, so it's large enough for a 17 by 25 room. So it'll definitely blow it out of here, and it'll have a heat strip, <clears throat> meaning that it'll heat it up. Um, if we feel as though it doesn't heat it up enough, we are going to put in a small faux fireplace that throws off heat. Um, this point here will be. We believe this will be the kitchen and the sink here and maybe over to here. And then here, caddy corner is going to be a shower, but it'll still be squared out. And here will be a toilet room. Toilet room separate? No. The shower will be in the toilet room? Yeah. Okay. Shower's in the toilet room. Okay. And it will have on-demand hot water. We already have that. Um, got a big bad boy for that, so that's good. Then moving down, we'll have our cabinets, our refrigerator. Oh, right across from that, we'll have our microwave and more cabinets. Then we are going to have a queen bed that raises to the top. And we will have the two chairs that become a queen bed on the bottom. And they will fold up and out of the way. So you could still get in his motorcycle or the kids four wheelers or possibly both and we do have uh the rings i believe do we have the rings in this one no okay so no rings but we can put them um <clears throat> so that's the basic now this is our builder jim i'm more the design on this and jim's the builder jim what do you got going on there so also what we're gonna do is all these stupid little butt connector things What's a buck connector? Or these splice connectors that fail. Okay. I'm taking them out. Is that for electric? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put heat shrink, heat shrink buck connectors on them, which will never come apart. Okay. They fail. They fall apart after a while banging. and. So what are you going to do, like residential? No, I'm going to heat shrink them. Oh, heat shrink them. Okay. So they'll be permanently... That way, once the walls are up, I never have to mess with it. Okay. I never have to worry about one of these fittings coming apart and something not working. Okay. 
So once the walls are up, it'll be finished. Okay. And let me ask you something else, Jim. Are you going to be able to make that uh, door a patio? Yeah, we're going to... I still have a design page. Okay. <laughs> I got to get stabilizer jacks, so we take that. Okay, bounce the bounce out. out. Yeah, sure. I didn't know that. I got to get four stabilizer jacks, put them under the four corners. Okay. And what when we uh, stop, you drop them? Just crank them down. Okay. They'll, They'll be off. connected. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I'll can't do that. It's already giving me a stomach ache. I'll bolt them to the frame. So that way, once you're done, roll them up and they're there. Okay. And we are going to put... Probably a 30 gallon gray tank. Okay. Black tank. And I'm not sure on the freshwater tank yet. All right. We're still in all the design phase. And how will this be powered? We got 12 volt for lighting. Okay. And, and we have a lot of uh, LED lighting going in. Here's going to be LED. And what about the outside, the lighting? All outside lighting is LED already. All right, but and he's going to light it all some, up. I'm going to add some more marker lights. I'm going to light it up like a tractor trailer. All right, like the Christmas tractor so trailer. It looks pretty decent. Uh huh. One down the I road love road. that idea. Uh huh. Uh, oh. We got backup camera on it already. Okay, what kind of backup camera? We can put that down there. I don't know. But we got it off of Amazon, so I'll link it down the bottom. The monitor's in my truck right now, which the monitor will go with, because the match set, the monitor will go with the trailer. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, we try everything before we put it in to make sure it's good to go. The tobacco camera, it's on there. Okay, I'll show that in a moment. It's hardwired in to the parking lights. So for the camera to work, all you got to do is turn your parking lights on, and it powers up the camera. Okay. And so with trailers, you should run with your parking lights on anyway to give you more visibility. Because there are some bad drivers out there. Is Are we going to uh, do any solar to this one? Uh, solar is possible on this one. And then I got uh, Romex. I'm going to start running the 110 power in here for all the outlets. Okay. The refrigerator, the microwave. And will the refrigerator be cooling while you're driving? Or no? It depends on what kind we get? Yeah. All right. I can put put an inverter in here or converter. Okay. It goes from 110 to 12 volts that a fridge can run off the battery while we're just traveling. So okay. Cool. So you can load it before you get there. Yes. Okay, cool. That's good. But every square inch is going to be insulated. Now with just this, I already feel a difference with it being a black trailer. Uh-huh. Yeah. I couldn't get in it the other day. It was so hot. So, the insulation made a big difference. So, we're down to the electrical stage right now. Okay. All right. And this is September 1st, right? Or is it the 30th? Or 31st? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's something like that. Well, we'll know when we list it. Okay. So, oh. this is the beginning. And um, if you have any questions, you can One other thing with just trailer, leave a comment. This is a full frame trailer. This ain't no Z channel. This is full square tubing. Which makes it more sturdier. Okay. More durable. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, we're on our way. Yep. Okay. We hope that we'll have this one done by uh, October 31st because we go to the mountains to see the leaves every year. Don't do that on camera. Thought he was going to spit. Um, but we go to see the leaves every year and we would like to take this for a trial run. It should sleep five comfortably. Two adults, well, this will be three adults and two children. So Nick and Brian on the bottom bunk and Michelle, me and Jim on the top. Or two on top, two on the bottom and one in a sleeping bag in the middle of the room. So, okay, that's it for real this time. Thank you very much. Please push the like button down below if you would subscribe if you want to see what the uh, outcome of this is. Also, we'll be selling these in tiny homes. We already did a lot of uh, cabins, 
um, where they were sheds and we turned them into little houses for people. So this is our new adventure that we're doing. Um, we're just going to do some cargo vans for some travelers. Okay, very good. Thank you. And like us, please. So the algorithm pick us up and we could share it with other people.